Blog Talk Radio. We are now live for Monday morning motivation. Your half hour, hour. Come on in, come on in, come on in. We have a shout out to overseer Dr. Pamela Lucas. Walking in perfect. Who created a song for me? Uh, my intro. Um, I, I called Walking upon the angel right on, and 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 I Walking tell you, I have truly been blessed. I want you guys to know you got perfect. Talent from the Lord. Y'all hear that? This is for you this morning. And we here to show the world. The talent that we have, y'all, we got talent. Is here to change your world, and we're here to change the world. We're walking in purpose, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're walking in purpose, yeah. We're walking with Angela. Walking with purpose. Can you hear me? Can y'all hear me? Showing the world all that we have. I don't know if anybody else can hear me or not. I hope y'all can hear me. Just God gave it to us. I hope those that are on and Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitch can hear me. If y'all cannot hear me, please let me know. So we are here on, 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 TikTok, on, TikTok. to show the world we're walking a path yeah. We're walking a path yeah. Walking with Angela. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for um, responding and sharing. We'll show the world what we have. We'll show the world what we have. We're walking in purpose. What did God say to you? You got to show the world. Come on in, come on in, come on in, come Don't on in. Don't you bury your talent. Good morning, 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 good morning. I want to thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of Monday Morning Motivation, your half hour of power with the queen. Of course. I am the queen of collaborations, y'all. I want to thank you guys for taking the time out to tune in. Um, I tell you, I am excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, I think I was sharing with somebody. Y'all know I'll be all over the place. I do a lot. I got my hands in a lot because you know what? I desire to be the change that I want to see in this universe. So you know what? I'm trying to impact. I'm trying to educate, empower and encourage the next person to do the same. And I'm doing it in a lot of different ways. So I'm telling you, if you're an author, get connected to the platform because I'm doing it through authors. And if you want, if you want to, um, if, if you are trying to travel, I, I, I am the proudest, newest owner of a travel business. And I'm trying to teach people how to save, earn, and travel while getting their residual income. I tell y'all, I'm excited about what God is doing. I'm telling you, there's truly a shift. And I tell you, this morning, um, when I was in prayer with um, the young lady from Black Women Authors Platform, um, for those women that are authors and you are truly looking for a platform where there is sisterhood and um, collaboration and um, individuals just coming together and supporting each other, I definitely want to encourage you guys to connect with Black Women Authors over on Facebook, um, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, and I think right here on TikTok. That, again, is Black Women Authors. Um, 
and you can connect with um, Chanel Coleman Wesley. Wesley, um, she is um, one of the amazing founders and creative minds behind that platform. So every Monday we meet at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 6 a.m. Um, Central um, Standard Time for uh, our prayer. Um, you can come on. You can share your testimony. Um, if you are in need of prayer, you can um, request prayer. And if you want to go forth in prayer, you can um, pray. Um, I tell you this morning, God dropped in my spirit, y'all. He dropped some scriptures in my spirit. And I just want to share a couple of these scriptures this morning as I encourage you guys to, to go forth this week, y'all. Y'all, this, this year is almost over. And for that person that think that they're in a place where they 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 may be stuck, that they have not accomplished what they wanted to accomplish in 2022, know that it's not over. Just because you didn't do what you wanted to do in 2022 does not mean that God didn't do what he wanted to do through you in 2022. See, sometimes what we want is not what God wants for us. And sometimes the answer that we're thinking that we're going to get from him is not the answer that he gives. But trust and believe if we stay the course and trust the process, he will definitely work it out. So this morning, um, the scripture came, the scripture that he dropped in my spirit, and there was a couple of scriptures that he dropped in my spirit, and I'm going to share three of them with you guys this morning. And they all came out of Proverbs. Um, The first one that was dropped in my spirit came out of Proverbs 19 and 21. It says, there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. So a lot of stuff going to come and go. We're we going to think a lot of stuff. We're going to go through some stuff. But guess what? The word of the Lord is still going to stand. His truth, everything that he has for you, everything that was spoken over your life, every prophecy that's been spoken over your life, every word that has been written in, 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 in this book, it has to come to pass. And over Jeremiah 29 and 11, he said he had a plan for you. To prosper you for you, mean good health, so you have hope in the future. His word is not going to return to him void. So I'm telling you, catch up with your destiny. Catch up with that that has already been written out for you, that has been planned for you. And if you don't know what your purpose is, you don't know what that plan is, you don't know, you know who you got to, you, you, you have to consult with. You can't consult with man. You can't consult with your mama. You can't consult with your daddy. You can't consult with your husband. You can't consult with your child. You can't consult with humans. You got to consult with the one that created you. So how do you dig, dig in and tap into that? You got to find yourself in the word. You got to find yourself in these scriptures. See, a lot of us, we read these scriptures and we don't get it because we don't see our names in the scriptures per se. And we can't put ourselves just like the kids didn't see. I, I I got it when I was when I was working with the kids, and the kids couldn't see themselves in these books, so they wouldn't read them. It's just like we we the same way. We can't see ourselves in some of these scriptures, so we don't we don't think that this scripture is for us. When this is our this is this is what He's given us. This is our our guide. This is what is supposed to be leading us and directing us. And it may come in the form of a Quran. It may come in the form of whatever, however you get to your God, to our God, one God. But you may go in a different form. He may have given, he may have laid on your heart to go a different route from me. But what was laid in my heart was to go the route that I'm going, and that is through Christianity. And that is through sharing the word of God. And that is through my life experiences, the things that I've been through. I didn't survive domestic violence, suicide attempts, depression, mental illness, and, and, and different things that continue to come at a constant basis. But you have to allow him that it's on the inside of you because Genesis 2 and 7 say he breathes a breath of life in me. So that means a part of him is on the inside of me. Everything that I need, everything that I desire. See, a lot of people, I know a lot of people going to walk away from this message on the day because I'm talking about the word. And a lot of people running from the word right now. 
because we 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 our own gods and we 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 look gods and, and and all this. He said he made us in his image. He didn't say he made us gods. He said in his image. So in his image means it, it, it means a replication. It does not mean he cloned us. Like no, he said in his image. That's a likeness. That means he made us something like him. But we are not him. We don't possess the same powers that, that he possessed, even though he's given us powers. But the word clearly tells us that he has power over all powers. I mean, anything that we need, anything that we desire, if it's truly in our heart, and if we're doing what we're supposed to do, there's nothing that he would keep from us. But we have to learn how to speak these words over our lives. And then we have to know, because the word tells us in, 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 in Proverbs 20 and 11, say even the child is known by his doing, whether his work is pure and whether it be right. So even a child is known by what he do. So if we're not doing anything, we sit down on those gifts that God placed on the inside of us that he said would make room for us, but we sit down on them. We're not doing what he's purposed and called us to do. Then what more can we expect him to do for us when we're not even utilizing what he allows us to have? And then a lot of us get in position, we get in a place where we think it's all about us. And we forget where we come from. I'm constantly reminded where I come from. But we can't stay where we, 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 we can't stay in a place of, of, of comfort. You know, people say we got to keep extending grace and mercy. Yeah, we extend grace and mercy, but sometimes you got to want to come up out of that. You got to want to move for where you at. So when is enough is enough. You know, you, we can keep extending grace and showing love. And, and a lot of people say a lot of people are leaving the church because people don't show love. And and, and, and people so rough and, and, and people church hurt and, 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 and people so holier than thou and people so this and people so that. I had someone tell me in so many words that I was so holier than thou. No, I'm not. Because I, 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 I don't have no heaven or no hell to put nobody in. And this whole life that, that 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 I've had, it ain't and it ain't been the best. But see, a lot of us act like we've been so on the right path for so long that 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 we ain't never did no wrong. Yeah, I'd be the first to tell you that I done wrong, but I can't stay in that wrongness forever. I had to want to come out of that so that I could grow. So that I could go to the next level, so that I could can walk in something, and that is not being harsh. That is not being that's got that 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 is you wanna you wanna grow. You wanna come out of it. You don't wanna be in the same place. You should look back over. We should be looking back over 2022 right now and saying, "What did I get out of this year?" What areas did I grow in? What areas did I, 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 I fail and I can do better in? What areas do I need to grow in? You know, these are the things that we can be doing now so that we, we get ready to go into 2023. We don't, we always saying we don't want to take 2022 in to 20, we don't want to take the following year into the new year. Well, if we don't want to do that, then we have to prepare and do some things so that we don't take those things into the new year. But if you ain't evaluated and went over your 2022, then how do you know where your errors at? How do you know where you can you you can you can improve those areas that 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 are holding you back that you don't want to take in? But a lot of us we wait until. We get into 2023, then we want to look back over 2022 when we could have left that stuff in 2022 and got a fresh start in 2023. See, a lot of us, we allow 
let down hurts and all this stuff hindrance. All this, I, I, I call them hindrance. We let all these hindrance keep us in a place of an ego and an attitude that will not allow us to love. Not only will it not allow us to love our neighbors, our brothers, our sisters, but it won't allow us to love ourselves. And it keeps us in a place of defense. It, it keeps us in a place where we feel like we are always being picked on. I was there for years, y'all. I was there for a long time. But I'm grateful that God allowed me to come out of that place. And now I'm able to share. I'm grateful for the various platforms that he allowed me to be on. I pray that something that you've heard may it be in a, a song that I played as I as I came live this morning. Um, for those that have been tuned in on LinkedIn, um, Twitch, and um, Facebook, um, if you heard songs as I came in this morning, the various things that have taken place as we've been live this morning, I pray that something has been a blessing to you, to the point to where you want to share it with somebody else, and that maybe you will join in again next week. Maybe you will go over to my platform, Monday Morning Motivation Half Hour Power with the Queen, Coach Angela. Maybe you'll follow the blog. Maybe you'll follow me on Facebook, maybe Instagram. Maybe you'll go over to linktree.com backslash Queen of Collaboration. And maybe you'll see some of the other things that I do, some of the books that I have, some of the projects that I'm working on, and see how we all can impact the world. I'm excited because my birthday is coming up. I'm turning 48. I put a challenge out for 47 amazing women to join me on this book project. It's called, the book title is Faith. It's by faith that we got here. And all of us are doing various things in our lives. But we've had various things that have come up in our lives, too. And some of these things could have took us out. Some of these things could have cost us our lives, and some of these things could have hurt a lot of people around us. But it's by faith that we are here. And we're going to share our journey on faith in hopes that that person that may be weak in their faith right now will gain that strength that they need to press on. So I'm challenging those females out there that want to share inside of this book to join me. Um, We're going to have our book release on um, a cruise. We're headed to Belize, Puerto Rico, and Honduras, um, April the 2nd through the 9th, to celebrate my 48th birthday as well as this amazing book release. So um, if you are a female and you want to be a part of this amazing book project, please join me. Um, Also, if you're interested in traveling with us on this cruise but not being a part of the book, I want you to reach out to me and see how you can be a part of this cruise. Um, I'm just excited, just excited about what God is doing in this season. A lot of people are getting ready to walk into a lot of things because of the work that they put in in 2022. But know that it's not too late. It is never too late. For that person that think that they're too old, that they know. I am a peer mentor for the college that I attend, and one of my mentors right now is 63 years old. She decided that she wanted to go back and get her degree. So I have the opportunity to help mentor her along the way and to help her on this journey. So I'm just excited about what God is doing in my life and how he's opening doors for me to be able to share with people and to be able to pour into people's lives. Because I tell you, as I look back over my life, there was a point where I did not think that I had anything that anybody wanted to hear or anything that could encourage somebody. So for me to be able to be doing a lot of the things that I'm doing right now is just amazing. And I just thank God for each and every one of you guys that support the various platforms that I'm on. 
I'm excited for the 122 authors from around the world campaign that we are doing. We are having authors that are co connecting with the platform that is out of the, the European countries, out of the UK, out of Germany, um, out of different parts of Africa. And I'm just excited to be in a place where I can share those individuals' um, stories, their message, um, that, that they want to share. And we all can come together and support each other and come off of social media and have live events and and and, and do these things and, and really, you know, genuinely pour into each other. Y'all, we got to get back to that. You know, the pandemic, if the pandemic did not teach you anything, it should have taught you how to value life and those around you. Life is short. I've lost a lot of people over the last 20 years of my life, not just during the pandemic, but the last 20 years of my life. 2017, I lost six family members in one month. That's not including the rest of the family members that I lost. But my life has just made me take a look at my life. And as I look back over my life, the things that I've endured, it was only to get me here so that I can be able to share with someone else to help them continue on this journey. God is not done with you yet. No matter what it looked like, no matter what they say, no matter what the naysayers say, take that as a stepping stone. Use it as a ladder. Use it as a building block. Use it to push you into your purpose and to catapult you into your destiny. Because your destiny awaits you. Y'all, I want to thank you again for tuning in to Monday Morning Motivation. I hope that something that I've said has been encouraging to you guys. If you've caught me live and you want to hear this message again, um, it will air on iHeart and it's on iHeart Radio. Um, it is download, downloaded automatically every Monday morning, um, within an hour or two after on the show. So normally, at least by 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, it should be up. So if you miss me live, go over and follow me on iHeart. Um, it's Monday morning, Motivation Half Hour Power. You can look for the Queen of Collaboration, um, give you an opportunity to also follow the 122 Authors um, podcast as well. Um, there's a couple of podcasts attached to my platform because I truly believe in giving individuals the opportunity to share their message and their brand. So if you're out there and you have a brand and you have a message, you have a book, you're a poet, um, whatever the case is, um, connect with me and allow me to help you push your brand forward and allow me to share you with those that support the things that I do. There's other platforms that is connected to the 122 Authors Movement because they are authors and they have platforms that do the same thing that I do. I'm excited about what God is doing, and I want you, too, to get excited because he's not giving up on you, and he's not forgotten you, no matter what you think and what it looks like in the natural. He's already worked it out in the spirit. Y'all, I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys, and I pray that your, your, um, your week is blessed, the rest of your day is blessed, that your week is blessed. Y'all, we got one more Monday in this month. One more Monday in this month. And then we're on to a new month. This year is winding up. Take this week to reflect on your 2022 so that you can push forward and catch up with your destiny for 2023. I love you guys. And guess what? There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. I pray that your day is blessed beyond what you can see in the natural. And um, if you guys can, um, we will be live tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, on Aspiring Authors Magazine page on Facebook, as well as um, Twitch and LinkedIn with the 122 Authors Movement. Um, you also can hear the replay on iHeartRadio. I love you guys. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. And that is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, they song. That's the Tamil song.
Y'all like my purple lipstick? Y'all like my purple lipstick? So that was that was um overseer pastor um Dr. Pamela Lucas. Um thank you, thank you, thank you. She is on all social media. She is right here on Twitch. I mean Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and um I think she's on Twitter. Um she's of course on YouTube. Um you can check out her Sunday um show. She has a the name of her ministry is Come Home, Stop Talking About It. Um, and you can check her out, follow her ministry, check out some of her music. Um, her music is available on um, most um, streaming platforms. So I want to encourage you guys to support um, support those that support us because they support what I'm doing. So that means they support um, they support me, so they support you. Um, and trust and believe if you support them, they will support you back. Um, that's just the kind of family that I deal with. Um, that's my author family, and we just have a lot of talents. We're not just authors, but we have a lot that we just want to impact the world, and we just want to give back. So, y'all, I'm out of here. I pray that your Monday is blessed, blessed, blessed. This is the Queen coming to you guys live from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Y'all, I'm headed to the A. I'm headed to Atlanta, so y'all are going to catch me in Atlanta. If you are in Atlanta, y'all, let's get together. If you're in Atlanta, let's get together. We're going to be doing some pop-up events. Um, we got a book that's coming out, 121 um, Days of Prayer, 365 Affirmation. is going to drop, and we're going to be doing a pop-up event. So if you're in the Atlanta area, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out. Hit my inbox, and let's see how we can connect. I love you guys, and guess what? Ain't nothing you can do about it. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Let's Love you, TikTok. Love you, Facebook. Love your Instagram. Love your Twitch. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Okay. We about to end this two vlog talk. I hope y'all those that tuned in on Fog Talk, those that hit a replay. I'm out. You ain't got the 90 second me. I'm out. Love you.